Hey, Griff, Tony, Michael, let's get it buzzing. Did we watch a real life scandal episode unfold? A picture is worth a thousand words or at least one good rumor. Did a selfie with prime ministers make First Lady Michelle Obama go ham at a Nelson Mandela Memorial event? If you've been following the First Lady side eyes as captured in photos, then you saw the roll of images which came across streams where it appeared our president was enjoying himself too much while sitting with British Prime Minister David Cameron and Denmark's Prime Minister Thornton Smith. After Prime Ministers and President Obama posed for a selfie in the footage, it appears the First Lady adjusted her sleeves and checked her mate. The next photo showed First Lady having switched seats with the President and sat with her back to Denmark's Prime Minister. See, that's how rumors get started. Inquiring minds want to know if the First Lady went all Millie on President once back in their limo. There's no shortage of the First Lady wiping the smile from President Obama's face in their history in the White House. Can you say checkmate? Literally? Okay, now everybody has a dream. For some, it is to wear a string. A string bikini, that is, in the Victoria's Secret fashion show, which aired December 10th. The show was the talk of the town, a fashion blogger's dream, which I'm not. For me, it was about the music, the song, and the acts chosen while secrets were revealed again and again on the runway. Move over models with her legs to infinity. Taylor Swift had no trouble owning the runway doing performances. She shared the stage with Fall Out Boy, A Great Big World, and Neon Jungle. It's their songs that's probably still banging in your head and being downloaded today. Now, we told you about controversy surrounding R. Kelly's release of his latest album, Black Panties. You know, the cover art. Well, hashtag Ask R. Kelly, uh, he said on Twitter, and Twitter did, unleashing a horrid of questions which made our heads spin. The questions range from things we can't say on radio to other things we can't say on radio involving a whole lot of bodily fluids. One question received instant and all-day retweets asked R. Kelly, is this you in an attached photo? In which a reply was sent from his account asking the tweeters to define you. Really, R. Kelly, by the questions fired off from Twitter fans and the like, one would have thought it was after a pedophile day. I mean, really, it was obvious, again, while folks love his music, very few people have moved beyond his past transgression, allegedly. But I bet you can sing every song. Moving on. What does Billy Joel, Carl Santana, and Herbie Hancock all have in common? Music. Lifelong music. And as such, the three joint opera star Martina Arroyo and actress Shirley MacLaine in receiving the Kennedy Center honors. They all have the Kennedy Center Honor in common. The ceremony will air December 29th on CBS. Kennedy Center Honor medallions were presented on Saturday, December the 7th. Honorees um, will sit with the President and First Lady while peers pay tribute. The annual Honors Gala has become the highlight of Washington's cultural year. Each president brings his own unique audience to the event. The president and Mrs. Obama receive the honorees and members of the artist committee who nominate them along with the Kennedy Center Board of Trustees at the White House prior to the gala performance. Did you know the center takes recommendations for honorees? You can go to their website and start making your recommendations. Who would you like to see? walk away with the Kennedy Center honor. Now that's your entertainment report for the Tony and Griff show with Michael McFadden and entertainment by dryerbest.com. Read it, watch it, listen today and every day. Join us New Year's Eve morning as we stream a national dialogue from Atlanta where you can become whole. Tap into wisdom, health, ownership, love, and economics. I'm Yolanda with an A and the A stands for always. Got that buzz at dryerbust.com. Hashtag gone blogging. Yeah.